beautiful sight to behold. Lady Liberty standing majestically over the waters of New York Harbor. It's time for some hoops at the home of the New York Knicks. We're bringing it to you live on 2K Sports. Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Ipod King Carter here. We have a potential playoff matchup on our hands going up against the Toronto Raptors. Now, did you guys see that easy dunk that he just got off? Now, nah, we got to get one of those back. So I pass it over to my man Amari Stoudemire. He rises on him, doesn't get the foul. I snap on the ref on the way down the court, but it's all good. Now, I wanted to let you guys know. Playing defense, man, after getting screened is so terrible. But luckily, he missed that shot, so we're going to take advantage of that. I see my man Melo trailing, so I had to hit him with a nice shot. He hits the pull-up jumper, so, you know, we're connecting already. I'm looking like Steve Nash out here, man. Yeah, that's right. I'm looking like Steve Nash getting these assists. But passing it all to my man Hardaway. I'm trying to set him some screens because I want him to get loose, but it doesn't look like he's one of those type of players to take advantage. So I'm going to call for the ball here, pull up for the three-point shot, and I get the shooter's roll to go for the three. Not complaining, not complaining. Looking good, looking good. Now, I do get burnt on defense, but I'm able to help out there. And they also missed that put-back shot, so we're going to take advantage of this. See if I can get me and Melo to link up real quick. Hits me with the shot, pull up for the J. Don't even take a dribble, and I hit the two. Looking good already. Now, passing it off to my man, JR. Gotta let him go to work. Look at the pump fake. Look at the crossover. And he goes under the rim one side to the other. Goodness gracious, that man is good. But I told y'all, we gotta turn up every video. One, at least one time, we gotta turn up. He hits the little behind the back move. Doesn't get it off. My man, Melo, hits me with the shot. Now, take off. Ooh, look at that. Damn, did y'all see those wings? Y'all, I know y'all saw my wings. Stop playing. I know y'all seen those wings come out, man. I'm looking like an angel out here. But uh, check out Melo. Got to get him with the nice little pick and roll here. Got to use it to my advantage. I could have got all the way to the rim, but I didn't know what I was doing there. So I just hit JR in the corner for the three. You know we're a three-point shooting team out here, man. This is what we do. We got to put the points on the board by shooting these threes. If we don't do it that way, I don't know how we're going to do it. You know what I'm saying? We can't call no little post-ups. But I get another steal. I just swiped at it. I didn't even know what I was doing there. But I get a nice little takeoff again. No music needed for that one. That one was just... Just unprecedented. I, I didn't want to make a, a spectacle of that one, you know. But uh, I get subbed out. And I come back in with literally no time left in the second quarter. Playing on these eight-minute quarters actually gives me the time to sit on a bench, reflect, look back, and say, you know what? That was a good rest. You know, I come back in the game. It's 36-38. Looking at this play. Now, I kind of like what 2K is doing here by showing us a little play before we come in. But I don't think they should do it every time. But we do get the cookies to go. Nice little fast break with Tim Hardaway Jr. But he gets it stolen. And my man DeRozan, you already know what time it is. His takeoff was inevitable. He, I already knew he was going to take off. And Doc Rivers is not happy about that. So with that timeout called, it's time for me to get it back out there on the court with only 153 left in the second quarter. I don't know what I'm going to do with my team with the rest of this time left. Now, we don't have a current drive. My man Lowry, so I'm just going to come in. Make it do what it do. Now, I know what play they want me to call, but I'm going to call my own pick and roll here. Hit my man Bargnani in the paint. He should have yammed it, but it's okay. You know, I ain't worried about it as long as he gets two points on the board. Now, playing defense on Lowry, it's kind of funny because he has, like, a nice little crazy pickup speed. Like, he'll be dribbling regular, but it looks like he has a high dribbling animation. And, you know, once he uses two dribbles and gets away from me, he's gone. But I get a nice little block right there. Oh, I actually, I didn't get the block. And I got bad transition offense. But guess what? My man Melo hits me for the three. You know what time it is, man. Getting a little shooter's roll like I told y'all. Listen, y'all need that Steph Curry shot. I don't know how many times I'm going to tell y'all in these videos. If you don't get Steph Curry shot, something wrong with you. But playing defense hard. Got to tell Armari get back on, on defense, you know. Now, I don't know what they was thinking about on that. You know what I'm saying? It would have been a beautiful play, don't get me wrong, but I don't know what they was thinking because they left your man open for three. <laughs> Putting points on the board, telling the crowd to get lifted out here. Now, DeMar DeRozan has been putting Tim Hardaway on skates, and I don't know what I was doing right there on defense, and, and Lowry gets the shot to go. You know, it's all good, though. You know, we still up. You know, Doc Rivers, he always has the same face going into the huddle. <laughs> He's never really mad or happy. He's like, all right, all right, guys, all right. 
But taking the pass from my man Hardaway, getting a little pick. I had to pass it off to Amari. I had to think about getting an assist there. I didn't care about the dunk. You know, I'm trying to get these assists, and they're so hard to get. So, you know, got to take advantage. De DeMar DeRozan literally takes early shots. Like, looking at him playing, he doesn't worry about the shot clock. He worries about if he's open or not. Now, I'm going in another pick-and-roll situation with my man, Bariani. Had to hit him in the paint, and he lays it up again. He's been getting scared lately, man. I remember when I first came to the Knicks, and he was so happy about dunking on people's head. But now he doesn't care about dunking. Like, look right here. Another layup. He doesn't wait. He doesn't get close into the paint. He just says, nah, I'm going to take these points. And which, you know, i got to be happy with. But check me out on defense right there, man. Even though I didn't get the block, I messed up the shot. And I got to hit my man Shumpert in the paint. You know, got to hit Shump, Shump. You know what I'm saying? Let Shump Shump get lifted. Uh -uh. Look at him doing a little pull up right there. But we got to go with another pick and roll. Don't know what Carmelo Anthony was doing. Now check it out. I'm calling pick and roll, but he's picking all the way over there. So I think somehow the defense and offense sets were messed up right there. So I just decided to take the long range three point shot. Now coming in at shooting guard. It's cool, man. I, I'm not worried about it, you know. I can hold things down. But they switched me over to Vasquez, which is the point guard. And I'm cool with that, you know. So, let Vasquez get himself killed. You know, Amari ain't going to let that go down. <laughs> now, we're up to calling another pick and roll situation with my man Melo. Melo took forever to cut, so I decided to hit Stoudemire for the J for the assist. It's all good. I don't know what Melo be thinking on his pick and rolls. Melo is not a pick and roll guy, and we all know that. He's all pro isolation. But I get the steal right there. Don't run on the brink. I let Melo get the hand one dunk. I decided to say, you know what? I know it's my steal, but I'm going to let that man live. I'm going to let him do what he do. And he gets the jam and the hand one. Now, I thought Gerald Green was going to come back and, like, LeBron James chase block that joint. So, it's all good. But uh, Melo loves to run point from time to time. So, I decide, you know what? Let me set something up real quick. Getting a pressure defense. Got the, <laughs> the little pump fake to go. And I get the shot, but it should have been an and one, man. Maybe we'll get one coming back down. Now, the reason that I didn't cut this gameplay, because something perfect happens right here. Get another little tip right there. Then the lob happens. Oh, my God. Did y'all see that? Did you see the lob? Like, he literally was turned all the way around facing me. Turned back around and threw the lob to green. Like, it was crazy. But I get the little hop step to go. I cheesed right there. It's all good, you know. Everybody got to get a little bit of hop step love in their life sometime, right? <laughs> but this game is winding down. We're up to. And they're pushing me all around on the court, man. They don't want me to get too close to the rack. So, you know, you got to let me shoot my free throws. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, I changed my free throw from Kevin Durant to Steph Curry's as well. Now, Steph Curry's free throw is very, very early, man. If you don't get this one perfectly... You're going to miss it every time. But you see me shaking my tats, man. IKC on the arm. And we get a perfect release to go right there. So this game is definitely in our hands. Now with 10.4 left on the clock, this game is definitely out of their hands unless they got Tracy McGrady on the squad. And of course they don't. So Kyle Lowry was too scared to take that shot. He passes off the green and green misses. I grabbed the rebound for the win. I tried to take it all the way full court, but I decided to pull up for the three because I didn't have enough time. And we come out with the win. 88 to 82 is the final. Potential playoff matchup coming out with the W is perfect for us. But I know Doris Burke probably is going to want to do an interview with me. So I'm going to go ahead and shut up real quick and let the clip roll. Well, tonight you factored into this game with both your scoring and your passing. How big a factor was ball movement in this win? Oh, it was huge, no doubt. Uh, I mean, we know we're at our best and we keep the defense constantly in motion. And you do that by moving the ball around. Look, if we don't do that, we don't win games like this. You earned every bit of this win. Congratulations, Kevin.
Hey man, the GM is waiting for you in the training room. Says he's got some great news for you. For what? Why is he in the training room? This is the man that holds your life in his hands. If he wants you to meet him on the moon, you better hop on a rocket, all right? Now go. He all said right, to hurry. Man. The classics never go out of style. Yeah.